Last week I got to fly to Pittsburgh for training. I love to fly. I love to travel. And it was a beautiful day for it. Even if I had to fly south to the hub to go north, I got there. The malls and the airport were wonderful. The restaurants, I, I don't know, I love airports too. Lots of neat decorations like the Pittsburgh Steelers and some wacky flight attendants took my picture with George Washington. <laughs> looking, looking bony guy. I got to get my own rental car this time. I don't usually, I usually drive everywhere. I mean, just because my coworkers didn't want to chauffeur me around everywhere. Can you imagine that? I hate getting rental cars because I'm always afraid that someone's going to hit me. You know, I mean, I can drive, but you know, everybody makes mistakes. I could make a mistake, and then the car would be messed up, and I don't know what happens then. I mean, they said they had their own insurance with my job, but. I was a little bit worried. Oh, I mean, concerned. I don't believe in worrying about things. So, I got everything all packed into my car, and I got ready to go, and took out my huge sheaf of directions that I printed off from MapQuest and my itinerary, and tried to figure out how to get out of the airport, which I really, that's the thing, I, I don't like getting the, the rental car at the airport, because they're so busy and convoluted, and sometimes it's just, you know, you spend days trying to get out of the airport itself. Eventually, I did get it together, and... Ah. Yeah, getting comfortable. This might not be so bad after all, I guess. I actually found the right exit. Got to my hotel. found my room, got everything unpacked, but unfortunately, I didn't have much time to relax. And I had to get up, freshen up, get changed, and go find a health food store to buy some toiletries because I didn't have enough room in that little baggie that they allow you on the airline to take all my toiletries. I was not checking a bag because I had to change flights and I am terrified that they're just not going to get my luggage there and I need my luggage. So I didn't know they had a tunnel going into Pittsburgh. So I got to the tunnel, and on the other side I was not prepared. It is huge. The city is huge. I realized my mouth was open. And here I am, I'm thinking, how am I going to find my way through all that? And it was a valid concern, because while I found the store okay, I mean, this is me as I just about found the interstate again. I mean, it was pretty late in the day when I finally was finding my way back to the hotel. <laughs> Very nice store, by the way. But uh, I got lost about eight times trying to find the interstate again because that interstate just, it drops you off in the middle of suburbia, in the middle of these quaint houses. I mean, just a residential section. You, you come off the interstate and there you are. And when I went to go back to the interstate, all I found were these quaint, beautiful houses and shops and restaurants. And the interstate just seemed to drop off the face of the earth, just disappear, just get swallowed up into... You get the idea. It was horrible. But finally, finally, I did. I found the interstate. I just, just went straight, and there it was. I was so grateful. When I was in the airport waiting for my flight, my first flight, I had two flights today, I was uh, reading in my preventing or the plan to end slavery book and it says, I did not know this, that there is already a law on the books. In 1930 they passed a law that says that you cannot bring into the United States any goods made in part or in whole by slavery. <laughs> Here I thought all these companies were being really nice, you know, by having these policies to make sure that their goods weren't made by slave labor, but it's actually the law. And there's got to be a way to get that enforced. Here I am trying to find it because I can't remember what the law is called, but I thought that was great. Let's enforce it. 